share a little bit with you. Um, a lot of times when God do something for us, we want something different. Ouch. And uh, even though, <laughs> even though, you know, it makes you look at your stuff in the mm -hmm. mirror. Mm -hmm. And if you're talking about a lot of times things that we easily to look at the plank that's in somebody else's eye yes. and not look at what's in ours. But anyway, I just want to testify a minute for, um, I, I prayed and I said, Lord, I just need to upgrade my car. And so the Lord said, go. So I just went to the car dealership and I ended up driving, I went to the Jeep dealer, uh, ended up driving some Jeeps. I ended, I got a car that was like, with the rebate from the dealer, the rebate from the manufacturer was like $8,500 off. So the cars reduced like $8,500. I was upside down in my car. So it takes away all the negative and I end up coming out of there with the car with nothing down. No, no down payment, no nothing. Just a, a payment. So, I'm so smart as a prophet of God. I just like, okay, God, if you could, I, that's not the car I want. Okay? And, you know, that's how we do it. And uh, I'm like, I want, I want that. Give me the Cherokee that got to me. So, I'm smart. And I go to Cheritos to the car dealership. I got the car approved at another dealership sitting there waiting on me to get the car. But no, I'm so smart. And I'm like, God, no, give me the desires of my heart. I want what I want. Oh. And what I need what I need. Y'all don't, y'all, y'all. I hear you. It's just giving everybody. It's just giving you the side. I want it my side. But I know it. I know it because it's real. We do it all the time. And so, go over there. And they said, oh, yeah, sure, we can get you a car. I said, okay, that one is fully loaded. All the bells, whistles popping, everything that is going on. I'm like, hey, I love this. This is, this is me right here. I got this. Girl, please. They said, oh, no, you can't even get that car. Because you're upside down in one car. You, I don't, even what you're talking about, even $5,000 down and nothing. No, we can't have it. So I drove another car, and I said, I'll get the Cherokee Limited. He said, oh, yeah, you can get a room for that car. You, you can get that car, but give us $3,000. So I got $3,000 to give you $3,000 down. But that's a car that I would have took after I couldn't get the other. The latter two, I'll take the Cherokee Limited. And so I went home, and I'm like, Lord, you said that you, you know, you, you'll give us the desires of our heart. That's the car that I want, not that car, not the um, car that I'm approved for. Because that's a Jeep Renegade. That's the, like the smaller Jeep out of all the Jeeps. And so I'm like, mm -mm, that's not the one I want. And so nothing happened. So and by the time I'm going to other dealerships trying to get a car, my, my credit score dropped like, 28 points because I'm somewhere messing around doing something else I shouldn't have been doing and every time they run your credit someplace else it drops down so I just want to wanted to testify to tell you you need to be grateful Come on. all of us myself especially I had to take back and step back and look in the mirror and like be grateful for what God does for you if you he asked him to give you a house in a home, and it may not be the one you pick, but maybe he'll let you upgrade to that later. Yeah. But he may ask them to give you a car, and if he tell you to go and get it, it may Come not on. be the one yeah. that you say that you want, but take the one that he say that I'll let you have ever. Because yeah. this is not going to put no stress on you. A lot of times we want something that's going to put a little stress on our our budget that we don't even have that to pay for. Then you want to sit up and drive a car that you might drive 
for six months and then you can't afford to keep it. You want to get in a house that you can't afford to keep it. But God, when he do something for you, you can afford to keep it. Because he is our source and he's our resource. And we don't have to look at what our, our finances are if he does it for us. Because he's going to do it where we ain't right. afford to keep it. Amen. 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 And I just wanted to share that with you. If he's telling you to go, have faith in God. Because if God be for you, who could be against Come you? On. It doesn't matter what man says. It doesn't matter. You have to wait for your tax return. Come God on. is the tax return person. He, give you, he can take tax relief off of whatever thing you're trying to buy. If he told you to go get it, go get it. And if he told you to move toward it, then let your faith move toward it. All you got to do is get up and move. Because once you move, take one step, he already into three or four and move all the obstacles out of the way. Hallelujah. He sent angels ahead of us to go and bring forth the thing that he's called. He said his word will not return to him boy. It will go out to a couple of things that he purposes to do and get what he said after. Whatever that he tell you to do, all you have to do is go do it. Just like Nike say, just do it. Hallelujah. That's all we have to do is just go do it. But I'm telling you, just be grateful. Be thankful. Just praise God that he's there for us and that he don't even turn his back on us when we somewhere acting a fool like trying to do something else and we want him to come and conform to our will. But God said, let his will be done, not our will. And we have to learn how to turn around from that thing. And he will do it for us. Whatever that you have in your heart that he's spoken to you for to do. I'm just here today to tell you, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just move toward it. And then a lot of you ladies, when God send you a husband. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> kind of quiet. Uh -oh. <laughs> when he send you that husband. Mm -hmm. I don't care if he look like Freddie Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> if he no. take care of me. And he gonna help pay a most a lot those bills, most of those bills, and say, baby, you don't have nobody to be your money. Y'all don't wanna hear the truth. Don't be oh, stupid. Oh, don't be stuck on stupid. Oh, because I no, I want a fan. I want a six foot nine. I want a fan. I'm no that uh uh no uh uh okay. When you go and you get that one that you think so fast. The, my first husband was fine. All clothes, match shoes, everything. All head to toe. All of But was the devil. I was married to the devil. You hear me? So God is going to send some of you believing him for a husband. It's coming. But it may not be the way you want it. He may not look, but the way you want it. But it's not about the outside appearance. It's about the heart. Amen. And when God sends you a godly man, it's about the heart. Mm -hmm. And that he's going to do something and take care, take care of your kids that's not even his kids. If somebody can love your kids and, and want to be with your kids, you got two kids, three kids, four kids, five. And somebody loved them, like they are your own kids mm -hmm. and not abusive, mm -hmm. not even, you know, like emotional abuse even too. I mean, but verbal abuse will, will get you emotionally abused. Mm -hmm. But I didn't come here to talk about that, but I don't even know how I got over there. But okay. it's, it's, the thing about it is whatever that he's going to send you. But I'm just getting that. In the spirit that you believe in him for a husband, but you choose it with your list of what you want it to be. It's gonna be some of the things. It's gonna be some of the things on that list, but it may not be some of those things on that list. It's up to you. I want somebody to love me for me. Not try to marry you and change you into what they want you to do. Yes. Anyway. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can try. Keep it still. I'm going to keep it. Oh, my God. I wasn't trying. I wasn't trying. The Holy Ghost is trying. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost.
us doing. Uh, if, it, if it's there for you to share, yeah. you know, I can just, because I lived it. Yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? My first husband was a bum. That, that dog, he dead. Amen. And he, he was so dirty until he died. Somebody shot him. I'm serious. Somebody shot him two times in the head, dumped him in a trash can because he was such a dirty person. That's how he lived his life. That's how he died. Jesus. But, honey. So the second husband, God sent me, was a godly person. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even saved. So I didn't appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I can tell you what I'm telling you because I know what I'm talking about. I Go ahead. It. Go ahead. Amen. I ain't pulling it out of the air. Amen. It ain't, I'm, I done walked it. That's right. It don't be what God, what you think God's supposed to give you. Yes. And God know what's best for you. And he want the best for us. Amen. He know what the he know what the outcome is before it comes yes. and it happens. And he wants the best for us. Yes. But sometimes our radars are so messed up. Right. That yes. antenna that attracts something that's not good for us. Mm -hmm. And we say, no, God, because that's what I want. Mm -hmm. He said, no, that's not what you need. Yes. So, even though he may be in your business, he's talking to you, but you that's what you came here for, to hear from him. Amen. Amen. And that he loves you. 